Hello dear students how are you all I hope all are good subject max standard 3 topic calendar students what can you see here do you know what is this yes yeah, this is a calendar and which year is it yes it is a 2020 calendar and how do you know it is given in the calendar yes so students you can see here the 2020 calendar students have you guessed what is the topic that we are going to talk today yes it is all about the calendar come let's have some conversation here students let us have your small conversation okay didi is time measured by only hours minutes and seconds students do you know time measured by only hours minutes and seconds okay let me explain you first let us talk about hours what is hours hours means 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour now what about minutes 60 seconds is equal to 1 minutes and now let's talk about seconds students if you see the clock between two numbers for example 12 to 1 there are five small parts each part is equal to 1 second that part is known as seconds no time is not only measured by hours minutes and seconds but it can also be measured by days weeks months and years so students time is not only measured by hours minutes and seconds it can also measure by days weeks months and years but there are 7 days in a week and there are 365 days in a year but the 12 months in a year and the leap year has 366 days because there is one extra day in february students do you know leap year means what leap year means is a calendar year that contains a additional day that is called leap year students there are 7 days in a week and there are 12 months in a year you can see in your calendar at home students there are 7 days in a week start from sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday so there are 7 days in a week and there are 12 months in a year so the months start from january february march april may june july august september october november and the december so there are 12 months in a year now students what about the days in a year so there are 365 days in a year and a leap year has 366 days one day is added to february once again i will repeat student leap year means is a calendar year that contains a additional days do you know the calendar shows the festival of the year yes students we have the indian calendar and we have the english calendar 
but now we are going according to the english calendar only for example january is the first month in the year we have the indian festival makar sankranti and the national festival which is the republic day these two festival students fixed on that day mean for example republic day is celebrated as national festival and on the 26th january and the makar sankranti is on 14th yes 14th january so these festivals are the fixed festival to know someone's age how do we calculate count forward from the year of birth till the current year students to know someone age what you have to do is that we have to count forward from the year of birth till the current year so let us move and let us talk about the age here today is 15th january remember we have to go for sonu's birthday party salma in which year were you born sonu i was born on 15th january 2005 now here tony today's date is 15th january 2015 it means that sonu is 10 years old today salma my date of birth is 12th march 2006 in whole years i am 8 years old today tony so your birthday will be on 12th march 2015 and that day you will be 9 years old yes you are right tony so students now here let us calculate the age here okay yes by counting the years forward from your birth means from your year of birth to now till now for example if arun was born in the year 2005 then what will be his age in 2015 so you can see here students top the line given the timeline i can see from 2005 to 15 if you count like forward when darun born from that year to till 2015 so 2005 to 6 one year 2006 to 7 two years 2007 to 8 3 years 2008 to 9 4 years 2009 to 10 5 years 2010 to 11 6 years 2011 to 12 7 years 2012 to 13 8 years 2013 to 14 9 years and 2014 to 2015 10 years means now what is the age of arun here yes was 10 years old students here is the proper the exact number like arun's age you can see on your screen here how i explained you in previous class about the year starting from his birth to 2015 yes so let us see one more time from 2005 to 2006 Arun's will be one year old. From two thousand six to two thousand seven, he will be two years old. And from two thousand seven to two thousand eight, Arun will be three years old. And from two thousand eight to two thousand nine, he will be four years old. From two thousand nine to two thousand ten, Arun will be five years old. and 2010 to 2011 arun will be 6 years old now 2011 to 12 he will be 7 years old then 2012 to 2013 he will be 8 years old 
then 2013 to 2014 he will be 9 years old and the last 2014 to 2015 he will be 10 years old so students harun will 10 years old when the year is 2015 students now here the activity time look up this year's calendar write the information in the table below what you have to do is that student you have to write the information okay the dates of saturday in the month of september the days means holidays in the month of august how many days after the 5th of december in christmas the dates of the sundays in june here the answer of activity you don't have to copy that you have to check whether you have written right or no okay and complete your activity and post it in school group whatsapp group next activity students now some people's dates of birth are given in the table below write how many years of age they complete this year on their birthdays so like sarika mohan hamad makhan singh you have to calculate their year and you have to write that students here the answer of second activity you don't have to copy okay you have to look at whether you have written right or no okay correct your answer understand it properly and post it in your group you have to write it properly draw the box columns and everything neat and clean complete it take a pic and post it in your school group whatsapp group so thank you students